He's set. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. For Castellanos, he gets credited with double number 24 on the year. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Cliff Pennington will that dig in game. now. He's got that average that up over 330 to begin Play. the ball game. Well, it's kind of a surprise to a lot of people, too, guys. I mean, nothing against him. But I don't think many people projected him to be hitting like this this year. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Around third and being waved on home. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. Yeah, this would have been sensational if he gets it. But once it gets by him in left field, it's a sure double. Segura. going on man from the stretch and a feeble oh. swing that time it's 0-1 now for Pennington the double is his eighth of the season so far one out and a runner on second base Got uh -huh. on in his front foot. It's 0-2. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at-bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. These days in this game, we talk so much about situational hitting. Hit behind the runners. Move guys up. But with one out... You gotta try to drive that guy in. That was a really unproductive out, even though the guy moves to third. First delivery to him on the way. Mookie Betts is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And even though you got a two-run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. That could come back to bite you later. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. There's a swing and a high fly off the left field. This ball's got a chance, and this gone. one is gone. And he must have had a big old country breakfast this morning, pal. Boy, oh boy. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 25 for him on the year, as the Reds have now taken a four-to-nothing lead. He just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Now Here's Charlie Blackman Black now. Fielder, Charlie Blackman. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. You no, know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. This one's flared toward left center. Hernandez has got it, and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. We played two full. It's the Reds four and the Pirates nothing. Welcome back to Cincinnati for Major League Baseball on the show from Great American Ballpark. Leading off the inning, David Wright, and they'll Pittsburgh. need him to get something Pittsburgh. going here. Well, you know, they've David fallen behind by Wright. quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game.
hit the other way out toward right field. Dickerson is there as he tucks this one away, and you always like to set down a guy like Wright on one pitch. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Billy Hamilton is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. Well, and everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. And, and against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. And he falls behind 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, there's no question this guy's got to be in the running for the Cy Young this year. He makes quick work of this guy on three pitches. That was just too easy. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. And he lays off there, 1-0. and Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. and That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. you got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's 2-1. and one. Definitely Still no baseball. fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off-speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. This is pulled into right. Dickerson is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail here four to nothing. Edwin Encarnacion digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on infield in the overshift here now the pitch below the knees one ball no strikes now after a rough couple of innings you'd like to give your guy a chance to straighten himself out here but I, I also think you got to keep your options open in case he just doesn't have it on he leaves the fastball up there mistake in location he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So a solo home run for Edwin Encarnacion. Home run number 39 on the season for him. And the Red Legs have added on. It's now a 5-0 game. Oh, and that's a little vindication here against his former team. You know, I don't think he was looking at this game like it was any other game. He wanted to come in here, make a statement, and that's a pretty good one right there. The right fielder, number Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. Chopped foul right at home plate at strike one. No outs, nobody on. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. Gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 23 for him thus far. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, come on, guys. That's three home runs he's allowed in the first three innings of work. And I got to think that they've seen enough, haven't they? I just can't see him turning things around the way he's been getting lit up so far. Now 
Here's Albert now. Albert. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, Pujols on his way to second now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And you want to put a big smile on the face of your starting pitcher? Give him a six-run lead early on and see what you get. He's got to be loving this right now, and I got a feeling they're not done scoring runs for him yet. Now here's Carlos Faggot. The line of the Pittsburgh dugout on its way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Lou Cairo is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning, he may be asked to work for a while. Nick Castellanos will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. High strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Well, for Pujols, that's now 31 doubles for him on the season. No one out with a runner at second. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Gonzalez will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for out number one. And you have to figure, he didn't think he'd be seeing any action this early on, but he's going to need to hold down the fort for a while here now that their starter's already out of the ballgame. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Derek Norris. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Ripped on the ground to first. Gloved by Adams. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting. Second baseman. Cliff Pennington. Striding into the box, Cliff Pennington. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the move is Garcia. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Three innings. Matt Adams will come forward now to start the inning, and with his guys down six in the early going, they're going to need to put something together here or risk being blown out. Yeah, and I think the big thing here is you've got to come up with something, even if it's just one run you got to let those guys over there know that you haven't given up and that you're going to fight them until the last time. Avisail Garcia will dig in. He How singled his first time around. Avisail Garcia. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And he is in there. Chase Utley stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they will not get him at the plate. He's in there to score, and it's a 6-2 to two game now. 
You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Lifted the other way out to left center. Blackman will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. You know, that's the now thing with throwing him. a fastball as hard There's as he does. Man. It makes fly Maybe balls travel right. that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. David Wright stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. Looking to minimize the damage here. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. He's still got a couple pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. You got to take a step back, take a deep breath, and get back in the zone. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors in a couple. Gene Segura is Leading set to off lead us off in the home half of the fourth nice inning. Shortstop. And you know, guys, I Gene love a guy like this leading Shagura. off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Eight. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Corner paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? On the ground to the left side backhanded and a close play at first but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one and I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first the skipper's out of the dugout and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call yeah he may Matt but I'm sure he's going to wait for word from the guys in the dugout and as we see it again man I can't tell for sure if he indeed was out So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Reds have elected to challenge the So here's one last look at the replay. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to rule the runner safe. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it here. I'd be pretty surprised that this challenge works out for him in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end, so here comes the decision. And he is indeed out at first, as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. Hamilton is there now, and he has it, two gone. Now batting, left fielder, Charlie Blackburn. Charlie Blackman will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. In there, strike one. Two out, nobody on. bat explodes as this is on the ground to third. That ball was so deep in his kitchen, that was the only thing he could do was foul it off, break his bat, and hope to get a better pitch on the next one. And he lays off the 0-2 splitter. One and two now.
A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hot shot on the ground is short. Hernandez is up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They lead it 6-2. to two. Billy Hamilton heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. One and two. Oh, he ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, let's isolate this release here. You can see he's got an easy motion, easy delivery, and boom, then he runs his pitch up there pretty darn quick. Here's cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Swing and a miss. A little too anxious there. One and one. Gotta like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna have to take it to left field because I don't think he's gonna give this guy anything he can pull. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. to two balls and two strikes now. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. And there's a swing and a miss by Gonzalez as he's a strikeout victim here, two away. Well, what's the best way to make sure that cleanup guy doesn't get to hit with runners on base? How about back-to-back -back strikeouts? That'll do the job. Here's Matt Adams now. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Ball one, no strike. And he watches one split the middle here, 1-1. One one. Seems like he's gotten away with more than a few location mistakes so far. Yeah, and that's not going to last forever, especially in this place. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. And Encarnacion will take this to the bag, and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds six, and the Pirates two. Edwin Encarnacion comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. In there at the knees, strike one. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Corey Dickerson steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. 
Six runs, nine hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Left field and deep. Back goes Garcia, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Now a long throw to third. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Oh, this guy's had such a good year at the plate. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark. You kind of expect a ball like this to clear the wall, but instead it's going to be off the wall. And he just cruises into second with another double on the season. Here's Albert now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. I thought they'd be working the edges against a guy like this, but I caught an awful lot of the plate. Shot toward second. Utley, great stop. Got him. No way. That was awesome. Well, by rights, this should have been an RBI single, but that's one heck of a play out there on defense. The run's still going to score, but what an exceptional defensive effort out there to at least get an out on the play. Nick Castellanos now, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Ah, that's just a great spot for the fastball against a hitter like this. Just off the plate enough to make him offer, but not good enough that he can do anything with it. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, this is a pretty hard hit ball, and I thought for a second that he might have had a shot at the plate. But he thinks about it for a second and takes the sure out instead, and that allows that runner to come in and score. Drives it the other way to deep right. Back goes Gonzalez, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. He's there, but oh, he missed it. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. Digging in now, Cliff Pennington. He flew out in his last at bat. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Played on the backhand. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Francisco Cervelli will make his way in as he leads things off here in the Pirates' half of the six. David Wright will stand in, and they've done a How good job this? keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. David He's 0 Wright. for 3 thus far. Up and in for ball 1. Yeah, he's still sticking with that fastball, but you start to get the sense that it's flattening out just a little bit. That could be a warning sign. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at 1-1. One and one. Fastball called strike. One, one and two. Two strike. Two down, runners at first and second. Chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. And he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run. The inning is over. Pirates get just the one, and that's all. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half. Gene Segura will stride in as he'll lead Leading things up, off here in the Cincinnati six. Gene Segura. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now and I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. 
By the time he realized this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Into the windup and the pitch. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Betts is going to turn for second. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Well, I think they've seen enough of this guy for the weekend. He's absolutely eating them alive. And he's at it again as he drives this one for two bases. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. It's way the 0-1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. The short hit hard. Two is left. Hernandez in time to first, and there are two away. Now batter. First baseman. Edwin Encarnacion will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hit high and deep to right center. Hamilton going back on it. A leap and oh wow. A great effort to make the play and end the inning. Another look here as he goes up and over the wall to take wow. away a home run. More ahead from Great American Ballpark right after this. Leading off the inning, Billy Hamilton. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Swing and a miss for strike one. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. Now a bunt attempt here. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. A quick out number one. This has been the story all afternoon. They have just not been able to get on top of his fastball. Here's another pop-up to prove it. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Carlos Gonzalez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. On, he swings right through it there, 2-1. and one. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still hearing the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2-2 two and two now. Four pitches, fast, slow, fast, slow. E.K., you thinking fastball here? 
And it seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Whatever he's doing out there, it's working out for him. That's back-to-back pop-ups here to start the inning, and he's just making it look easy. Into the seats, 0-1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Tough pitch right there. That's 96 in on the hands. You just got to let that one go. He pulls this one into right. Dickerson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. Jose Alvarez will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Corey Dickerson is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. Hot shot on the ground is short. Hernandez takes it in and a rather easy first out. Now Albert Pujols will Albert. step in. A ground out victim his last time. He slaps that one away and the count will be nothing in one. That foul at home plate. Shot back up the middle, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, he wasn't able to do anything with those two off speed pitches he saw. But the one fastball he gets, he jumps all over that one. And that's what you've got to do. You might get one pitch in an at-bat that you can handle. He was able to make it count here. Nick Castellanos now. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. The second for one. The relay on to first. The double play and the side is retired. Brandon Maurer will be summoned from the bullpen now. So he'll take over to start inning number eight. Leading off the inning, Francisco Cervelli, and they'll need him to get something going here. Avisail Garcia stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Avisail. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. 2 and 1. A runner at second, nobody out. Nip the corner, 2 and 2. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up that inside corner, but this guy will eat you alive. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And taken in out there for the first out. Digging in, Chase Utley. He singled his last time up. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And now with that runner on third and one away, you need to stay smart at the plate, realizing that they might be working around you to put you on. So you can't go up there chasing some pitches out of the zone. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. That's 
Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Yeah, that's a good pitch there. That thing tried to come back, but didn't quite get there. One out and a runner on third. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up, and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Boy, and just a great call that time <coughs> to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. First pitch of the at-bat. Cesar Hernandez is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Nope. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Pirates get just the one, and that's all. Home half of the eighth. Derek Norris gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Belted high and deep into right center. Hamilton racing back to the track. And a scaling attempt at the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year, as this is now a five-run cushion. You want to talk about instant offense? How about the first pitch of the inning? He's just hoping to get ahead here with a first pitch strike, but now all of a sudden, he's got a guy circling the bases. Into the box now, Cliff Pennington. Liner towards second. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat, maybe even a half heartbeat considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. Gene Segura digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Garcia ranging back. Out of here! She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A solo shot here to left as it's now a six-run ball game. Whatever these guys are putting in their pregame meal, you can be darn sure they're getting the same setup tomorrow. That's five home runs as a team now. I mean, these guys are feeling it up there. Now batting, center field. Here's Mookie Betts. Mookie. Drilled down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Yeah, this might have caught a little too much of the inside part of the plate. I think he wants us in a little tighter, but didn't get it in all the way, and it winds up costing him. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag, and he's back standing. Here's Charlie Blackman now. 
as he swings at the first pitch and lifts a pop-up out behind short. Hernandez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Uh, popping it up is bad enough, but doing it on the first pitch you know, and out of the zone to boot. I mean, this just is not a good A.B. I can tell you that. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Long throw to third. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get foul. This is line to left. Garcia is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home. Kicking off the top of the ninth, David Wright. And they'll need him to get something going here. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. A one pitch on its way. Fastball called for strike two. You like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. The third strikeout for him now. Got him out front a little bit here. He winds up turning this pitch over nicely, and he gets him to swing right through it. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. And he'll pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard back up the middle. Segura with a sliding stop. Not in time. Man, almost a great play. Nearly a highlight real play, but they'll have a runner on here with one away. Into the box now, Carlos Gonzalez. He's one for four for the game. And this is low, ball one. Snap throw from the catcher. And he saw it coming that time, back in standing. Two and oh count, here it comes. And that one's wide to the mark, ball three. And I think having that guy on first is taking him totally out of his game. Yeah, I don't know why he's so concerned. He's got the lead. If that guy wants to go, let him go. And the count will be full. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Matt Adams struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0-4 ball game with a base hit right here. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. and And you wonder if he's feeling just a little bit distracted having that base dealer over there at first base. Sometimes just the threat of a steal can really mess with your head out there. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. And he Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and you know this home crowd is going to get to drive home happy as their guys come through with a very good win. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game.
Well, he winds up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't quite squeeze.